What was once a Greek colony in Italy called Cumans archaeologists are exploring an acropolis that has kept its secrets for thousands of years. Here, these experts usually find the remains of the region's elite buried in long-sealed tombs. However, inside one of these tombs, the team found an intricate mural that sheds new light on a forgotten past. The mysterious 2,000-year-old mural has revealed the hidden history of an ancient Italian city since the Phoenicians first arrived on the shores of what is now Italy. So, in Campania, Greek colonists were drawn to a patch of fertile land with the ocean on one side. Around 750 BC, the people who lived there built the colony of Cumi there. Greek culture took hold in parts of Italy's mainland because of this. For example, the Euban alphabet is the system of letters that became the Latin alphabet, which is still used today. According to the Greek historian Dionysius of Halicarnassus, Cumans' wealth and power were admired at the time, but not everyone did. The colony, on the other hand, and Cumans' success made him a lot of enemies. The Etruscans, who lived in what is now Tuscany, were one of them. The two cultures often fought during the late 6th and early 5th centuries, but the Cuman won. The glory days of Greek Cuman didn't last long though. In 421 BC, the Ascan people of Campania took over the city. Under the new rulers, many parts of the colony's Greek culture were almost completely wiped out. Even the language was eventually changed, but some parts of the region's history held on. In 338 BC, Cuman changed hands again, this time to the Romans. The colony became a quiet backwater on the edge of the empire, but from the one to an impressive size, almost twice as big as its neighbor Pompeii which was destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. However, according to experts, Cuman seems to have been unaffected by the eruption. The city would have only gotten a light dusting of ash, even though it was only 30 miles away from the volcano. Amazing treasures started turning up in the area, like a large statue found in 1606. In 1738, construction workers made an amazing find that changed Italian archaeology forever the UC building. In the area, work was being done on a palace for Charles of Bourbon, the King of Naples. While laying the foundations, workers found the ruins of Herculaneum, a town destroyed by the Vesuvius eruption. This led to a Spanish engineer finding the ruins of Pompeii ten years later. Many people then came to excavate these interesting sites, and Cumin was once again left alone. This made the ancient city of Cumin less important. In the past, it was thought that the Cuman Sibyl was among the most famous. It's said that the oracle wrote her predictions on leaves and left them at the entrance of her cave. She was also thought to have ties to the underworld and may have used tunnels nearby to make the river sticks. Then, at the start of the 21st century, a team of French researchers led by the College de Francis Jean-Pierre Braun and Priscilla Muniz from the French National Center for Scientific Research arrived in Cuman. The experts began excavating the site of one of the city's ancient cemeteries. This cemetery was once part of a built-up area with roads and a Greek sanctuary. Archaeologists also found vaulted rooms that had been used as graves, chambers made of a local volcanic rock called Tuff. Each space is made up of three tombs inside a single chamber. The door was sealed with a single large rock, which would have made it easy to get inside. Unfortunately. These tomes seem to have been destroyed by the looting that happened in Cumin in the 19th century. However, archaeologists were still able to find human remains. Archaeologists also used these marks to figure out that the people who lived in the tomb were probably high-ranking members of Roman society at the time these remains were buried. At that time, UC Cumin was no longer a Greek colony. The Romans had taken it over but most of the tombs found at the Cuman Acropolis were painted white or red. In June 2018, however, the team found something different, a chamber with a very detailed painting whose subjects could still be seen, even though the painting was very old. Archaeologists had already found other grave decorations at the site, but this was the first time they had found something so elaborate. In a tomb dug up a few years ago, the coffins were painted to look like marble, the Israeli newspaper Horwitz reported in September 2018.
Only the two that were found in June had paintings of people. The mural covering the tomb sides and entrance wall shows a naked servant holding a silver jug and vase. On the other side of the door, you can see an amphora-like jar, a table, and a type of vessel called a satala. A vase called a crater is painted along with its stand. Archaeologists could tell from these details that the scene depicted a banquet. They think that guests were originally painted on the side walls of the tomb, but now only traces of landscapes remain. The fact that this tomb had a mural shows that the people who lived there were among Cumans elite, as is the high quality of the work and the brightness of the colors. Muniz says there could have been as many as three high society Romans buried here. Even though the tomb looks like it has three beds, the team needs to do more research before they can say how many people were buried there. A lot of the news about the find has been about the mural's content and how obscene it is. But was it scandalous to show a naked servant in Roman times? Experts say it wasn't because nudity was much more common back then, and it was common for high-ranking people to collect art that would be considered lewd today. For example, when archaeologists found a painting of a naked enslaved person, they found that a wealthy man owned it. The banquet theme is common in the oldest tombs, but this is Campania's first tomb from the second century BC to show it. Were the people of this cemetery that far behind the times, or did the designer of the tomb love food and wine? According to Muniz, the mural was an early addition to the tomb. That's all about today's video. Thanks for watching. Please like our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel.